Welcome tonight. Uh, appreciate everybody coming out here to support here. Um, I don't know why he didn't stay in Chicago. He could have just put a couple of bricks in his pocket and, and, and or tied a rope around a fat woman to keep him getting blown away. <laughs> One of his books I see is uh, Addicted to Pain. You know, when you got a rope around a fat woman, you, 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 you get pain just from trying to finish a wop off by yourself. You know but uh, Eric's a really great guy. He's a big supporter of me, you know what I'm saying? I'm always telling him about my wife's boyfriend because, you know, I try not to, you know, go too far with that, but they're a great couple. You know, yeah. I hope they don't break up. I've seen the way they look at each other, so I know they're in love. <laughs> Plus, I said, if I work, I sell men's clothes. I said, if Oprah ever shows up, you know what I'm saying? Man, I'm going to get about three bucks of chicken, two for her and one for me. <laughs> and uh, we're going to go around the gusses, get about three bucks of chicken, and getting her over limo and ride out into the sunset. I ain't even call her to come back to work. When Miss Men see me leave it open, I'm sure she'll let the folks know, hey, you know, I ain't coming. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I didn't know Eric was uh, going to be on black people's time. I left the ghetto, I mean, where I live at, and came all the way out here. And he's late for his own funeral, I mean, for his own book signing. <laughs> I guess it's OK to be late for a funeral, you know what I'm saying? So we can all hope for that, you know what I'm saying? But, you know. Uh, you know, Eric is a really nice guy. I'm always telling him about Big Mabel that works for cable because she's always ready, willing, and able to put food on the table. <laughs> and though know, she drives a Mercury Sable, it's no favor that she's able. <laughs> you know, I don't care what kind of label you put on it, you know what I'm saying? It's Big Mabel from Cables, and she's going to do it always, do it right. You know what I'm That's the way it is, you know. But, uh, you know, I think he's a really great, great guy, you know. Um, I work, you know what I'm saying, um, I get, actually, you know, I got to get back to the neighborhood pretty soon because I know a couple of players out in the neighborhood that want their jewelry back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know, Pim and Frank and, you know what I'm saying, Ray Ray and them guys, like, man, you know, I need you to watch my women for a while, but I got to get on to my wife, Ray Ray, but, you know, let me know what Shirley's is doing, so I got to watch and report back, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes he gets a little violent himself, he just kind of man. Yeah. You know? but, uh, I remember when, when my wife first met her boyfriend, he came by the house one day. He's got a, a, a brand new Cadillac, it's a 2013, and we, just pay, we pay his cotton over. But, uh, you know, I said, we came by one day, said, I'm looking for your wife. I said, well, my name's Jeff, you know what I'm saying? Would you like to get a shot of this Thunderbird? I was drinking, I had to put some grape Kool-Aid in, and we called it Shake em Up. And he uh, fixed him a glass, I, you know, they just leave your keys on the bar. I looked outside, saw that brand new Cadillac, that's what so when he went in the back, you know, I got the keys and went out. I'm going to crank up and go ride a little bit, you know what I'm saying, maybe through the neighborhood of the track, you know. And uh, I cranked the car up, you know, the, the console got a little dash. It comes up, out, you got the rear view, rear camera on there and everything, the radio comes on. I look at the gas tank, it's on E. <laughs> and so I had to go back up to the house. I was like, man, I don't know what's your name, but, uh, you know, give me my Thunderbird back, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> I was like, man, what kind of nigga bro is you, a brand new Cadillac on E, you know what I'm saying? But they roll like that, you know. Yeah. But actually, you know, I get tired of dressing up. I dress up like a butler every day. For the last 20 years, I've been dressed up. You know, I got that more biscuit, sir, look by myself. <laughs> more biscuit, sir, can I get you a cup of tea? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I mean, you know, it's just you get tired of it, you know what I'm saying? And especially if there's no cushion up on the carpet, you palm a house and around somebody coming up with you. I can't pick my suit up. Like, it might be a couple of days before I get back, Jack, you know what I'm saying? So I palm a house all the way through him, you know. But uh, I do call it the Mo Biscuit, sir, look, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I love being comfortable. When I look, when I'm off on a Wednesday, I look like I just got to smoke some crack or something. I look just that rough, like, I ain't trying to put nothing on, you know what I'm saying? If I leave house, I'm going to leave, I'm going to put some house shoes on or something like that, and some jeans and stuff. My wife be telling me, you ought to, you know, you shouldn't be looking like that, you know? As a matter of fact, the night I was planning on uh, combing my hair, picking my hair out, but I ran out of curl activator. You know what I'm saying? I, mean, you know what I'm saying? I know spit works, you know, one for, for some people, but you know what I'm saying? it's a good thing I work right next to Walgreens because, you know, if they got that special rope burn side there, that's 50% off if you got your card. You know what I'm saying? You know what I mean? Because, I mean, I work for some real slave drivers, you know. I mean, you know, it's hard out here on the wimp when he's trying to get money for some shrimp, you know what I'm saying? Maybe Eric can write a book, you know what I'm saying? You know, like, you know, it's hard out here for a pimp. It's hard out here for, it's hard out here for a pimp trying to get money for the rent, but it's hard out here for a wimp when he's trying to get money for some shrimp. You know what I'm saying? Scrimp, a fish sandwich, or whatever he's trying to get, you know. But, uh, you know, it, it, it's, things are rough all over, you know. Yes, sir. Yes, it is, man. It's, you know, it's getting tough out here these days, you know. 
I mean, I read rolled by 15, 20 liquid houses, and then stopped and get me no Thunderbird or nothing. I get in the air, keep running behind. I mean, you know, <laughs> I, like I said, but uh, you know, I guess he decided to leave Chicago and come in. You know, but like I say, he can always write a movie. You know, you know what I mean. So you know, we got a nice crowd here of people. You know, I see a couple of folks that I saw at the food stamp office early this morning. <laughs> <laughs> see Joe Joe over there. You know what I'm saying? Shanae Nay. Give y'all a thumbs up. You know. On coming, but uh, you know, but uh, you know, I just really, I, I just try to keep the people that work, you know, what I'm saying, laughing all the time, you know, what I'm saying, and you know, what I'm saying they're very supportive of me, and I appreciate the people coming out, you know, uh, you know, stay stressed out, you know, uh, no loan and liquor store hold up business, you know, what I'm saying, uh, anything like that, but uh, you know, Eric, when I recently preached my first sermon, and Eric came to support me. I had been over with friends of mine house the following week and I was the first one to get there. And since you know ministry is new to me, uh, about five or six foxes came in and I was in the back. I could see from his bay window the front door. I seen a few Beyonce's and Serena Williams, you know, the ones that got those nice futures behind them, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And so, I mean, I like, that's what I like. So I saw about five or six years old. I told him, man, it's about time to go. Like, dog, the party is getting ready to get started, man. Like, man, you don't know and you don't want to know. You know what I'm saying? So I, I went ahead and left because I ain't want to, you know, you know, put myself through that kind of stress, you know. <laughs> like I say, it's hard out here on the wimp when he's trying to get money for shrimp, but... You know, some people, they don't care, you know, I mean, they roll the way they want to roll, but, you know, like I said, things are tough all over, you know, and, uh, like I said, sometimes, you know, I don't know what I'm going to do, you know, but, uh, you know, just try to show up on time and try to make it, you know. <laughs> yeah, I might have called Big Mabel from Cable and see if she's still able, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> you know. I don't really know, what's, well, I'm trying to think of what else I can bring up to keep y'all entertained just until OJ get through being a simpson. <laughs> <laughs> back there, yeah. But uh, like I said, I wish it was something I could do besides, you know what I'm saying, dressing up every day. Anybody I hire it? You know, I mean, you know, but like I said, being a butler. Did anybody see Django? That movie, that was an outstanding movie. I mean, I ain't, y'all should, Sam Jackson, that's the most, I ain't never seen a Negro like that, Jack, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> You know, I mean, I done worked around some folks like that. They, they, they telling everything, you know what I'm saying? You know, I got to work on my tap dancing too, you know what I'm saying? I need a Shirley Temple volunteer so I can do na 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 to do some tap dancing and stuff like that, you know. But, uh, you know, yeah, that's what I got to work on. Maybe get my teeth white so I can do some more shining. Hey, boss, how y'all doing? You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? That type look, you know what I'm saying? It might work, you know what I'm saying? But I really let's just like genuine people. I can't see myself, you know what I'm saying, just, you know what I'm saying, turning over like that, you know. But uh, it would be nice to slap the taste out somebody's mouth, you know what I'm saying? But, you know what I'm saying, don't try this at home, I would say, you know what I'm saying? Because you might end up in a bad position, you know what I'm saying? But I like to slap out. You know, I'm scared even even my wife, she might, you know what I'm saying, knock my teeth out, you know what I'm saying? Women, they have Vietnam flashbacks, and a lot of them ain't never been in the service. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, what brand would you in? You know what I'm saying? I'm just a woman, so get ready for me to kid. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, you know, I love when my, my, my mother was a woman. She did a pretty good job of having me. You know? Yeah, she really did an outstanding job, you know? But, yeah, I uh, ended up uh, being in a brick fight. I lost every round. <laughs> and uh, it was terrible, you know what I'm saying? I would like at least came back in the 14th round and, you know, did a little decent boxing, but, you know, it seemed like I, I had my elbows up and I just kept hitting, getting hitting in the elbow and made me drop my hand and, and those straight shots is what you see today, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, you know, 